Good morning. It's a beautiful day in Fairfield. Our bi-weekly podcast featuring local folks from around the area. <laughs> no one Turner. knows what That's we're featuring. Vaughan. Yeah, I, we just, you know, from week day to day, we're just kind of like, what are we going to do? I don't know. My step- and uh, Chris Conrad has joined us. Conrad. <laughs> Conrad. That's a running That's right. joke around yeah. here. Oh, you're so. good. You're good. We, uh, we're joking day. about it this morning before you even got in here. And... Um, Ashley was making the graphic at the same time, and she goes, "Oh crap! I literally just typed Conrad." Okay. <laughs> well, you, you know. I said we're is. joking about it too much. You it's know making what it, it is. It's all those cameras. All the cameras. Yeah, all those listening devices oh. that they have implanted in our minds. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're, we're going straight into conspiracy <laughs> yeah, theories right, yeah, this yeah, morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, let's do it. Since yesterday was the eclipse, and. You know, how many conspiracy theories are there about that? I mean, the world didn't end, right? right. So we're I said this, this is like Y2K. You remember, you uh-huh. know, we're oh, old yeah. enough to remember the turn of the century. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And everyone thought the world was going to end. The computers were going to crash. All the algorithms would be broken. And I just remember as a, I mean, I was pretty young at the time, but what, 14. Um, I know. I know. know. Stop bragging. <laughs> but I just remember like being too young and naive to really think about it too much, but I remember like it getting close to midnight and being like, oh crap, I wonder if that stuff's real. Like, what's going to happen? And then nothing happened. Like, okay, we're good. We're good. We're yeah. good. Let's move mm-hmm. on. So, oh man. So, you watched part of the game last night? Part of it, yeah. Till halftime. I watched uh, till about three or four minutes till halftime. Yeah. And then I was like, it's kind of, I was kind of looking and I'm going, Man, this is very reminiscent of the Illinois UConn game. Yeah. <laughs> UConn, <laughs> so. UConn was a, you know, powerhouse, oh obviously. Like, I really hoped Purdue now, could pull it out and win. Yep. But they it. held their own. They, they you know, did. Yeah, they did yeah. fine. Heard an interesting stat last night. UConn, so. you know, which won the national championship last year, mm-hmm. lost eight of their top ten players. Wow. You know. And rebuilt the program again. And, and win, you know, for a second time in a row. Yeah. Hmm. I mean. Impressive. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't complain mm-hmm. about that. Either of you have UConn in your brackets? Oh, my gosh. My bracket was busted yeah. week, weekend one. Oh, yeah. Awful. Yeah. I got in that double or that thing with Chet and uh-huh. the, the volleyball and the basketball mm-hmm. team at the high school first weekend. I, I bought, I bought two, okay? Both of them. Busted both? Both of them were the Survivor League. So you can only yeah. pick a team one time the entire mm-hmm. time. Well, I didn't get past weekend one on, yeah, two different ones. I think ones, I made so. it to weekend three. Wow! Lost. Wow! You know, I mean, that's that's but good. It was, you know, everybody's bracket was busted when Kentucky lost. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I my hope, cats are yeah. looking for a new coach. I saw they that. Need one. Yeah. I saw yeah. That. Sorry, I, maybe I, I, I told said. somebody. <laughs> I don't I think told they watched. Somebody right after they <laughs> lost, I said, oh, "I bet, I bet they'll fire Calipari." Yeah. Oh no, no, he's got a thirty-four million dollar buyout. Like yeah, you, but but Kentucky can do it. Yeah, uh-huh. you know? they got the money. Yeah, they didn't fire him, or so they say. Right, but he's going to Arkansas. He resigned. So, yeah, yeah. I was sad to hear Brian Mullins at SIU Carbondale got fired after mm-hmm. they lost to the NIT. Well, Brian of- Mullins was a basketball star. At okay. SIU Carbondale. I wasn't with the name. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. He was a basketball star when I was well, in school there. Yes. Last year, they lost. Okay. Lance Jones, yeah. who played for Purdue last night, uh-huh. came from SIU Carbondale. Okay. Really? And then um, um, Damask, who played for Illinois, okay. transferred from SIU Carbondale from last year. Really? Yeah. Well, I just... That was pretty, pretty, pretty... I wonder how good of a team they would have had. If they wouldn't know? have transferred yeah. out. Yeah, I know. I, I like seeing a, you know, alma mater come back and coach. I always yeah. think that's cool. Yeah, that is and, cool. I don't know. I don't think he's only coached there a couple of years, right? Yeah. So yeah. He give him a little long. time to build a program. But, I mean, I don't know. Not that I – They say they say normally it takes, what, five years to, to build. build a program? Probably. Because you inherit the players from your previous coach and then right. you've got to recruit your own type of players. Mm-hmm. And Well, shout out to Coach McHugh then because he's only been here – this is his first full year, and they're still undefeated at home. Yeah. At this point, the Bobcats oh. baseball team. Oh yeah, so that's exciting. Now, what about uh, what about these girls basketball? First yeah. year I've been watching college. I know college what an exciting. It's, thing. I think it might have been the first year that a lot, a of, lot people of people watched women's college Pretty. basketball. I mean, you got um, 
Caitlin Clark, right, of course. Right. Um, the Reese girl yeah. from Angel, Angel Reese yep. from LSU. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, kind of, they had it kind of like a Larry Bird, Magic Johnson type thing. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. It was good. It was interesting. What, wow. 18 million views? Yeah. I know. Great. From the championship game? I think it was the most watched game ever. Yeah, in college basketball, well, I think it Men beat some women. Super Bowl records. Yeah, didn't it? wow, yeah, yeah, and that's so huge for women's sports, like yeah. to get that recognition. Not only are women and their kids watching, like men are tuning in and men oh, are gosh, invested. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's huge. And what's really sad is I've heard people talk about like Caitlin Clark's getting all these offers, right? About um, I can't remember the famous people, but they're like, I'll give you oh, millions yeah. of dollars. Like 10 million bucks yeah, to, to play come play. Some, yeah. And some little league that they have or whatever. And I think like women's NBA cap is like $750,000 or something yeah, like that, which, which is good money. I mean, I wouldn't turn it down, <laughs> right? But compared to the NBA, the difference in that right. pay scale is just bonkers. So they can... They're doing a lot for women's sports, and shout out to them. I'm thankful yeah. for them, and I think the, hopefully some changes are made. Women's soccer did it not too long ago. Yeah. I think you the know? guys that uh, come out on the floor and you know yeah. clean, squeegee uh-huh. up the, the – I think they make more than 750000 now. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Now, who's she going to? Caitlin's uh, being drafted by Indiana. Oh, really? Yeah, WNBA team in Indiana. Wow. Yeah, I hadn't heard. Yeah. I hadn't heard that one. Very yeah, cool. That's who's, that's who's supposed to – Draft her next week. Wow. So the draft is next week. So that'll be a... I think that's right. That'll be a good thing to tune into also. Yeah. Honestly, so we had the concert Friday night. The yeah. weather was horrible, obviously. It was freezing. It wasn't sleeting or snowing, so I shouldn't yeah. say horrible. But it's still pretty cold. It was cold. And then the women's basketball uh, game we, was on, uh, so a lot of people yeah. were we, were watching that. We felt really bad at the concert Friday night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because we... Uh, you know, they want people to get up and clap and stuff and, and you know, get get into it. Oh, we're doing the and, wave. Yeah, they kept having us know, do the and, wave. You know, we're clapping, but we've all got mittens and gloves on, so it's like... <laughs> you got your silencer. <laughs> yeah. You know, get up and... It was like, no, it's too cold. It's too cold. We got blankies. <laughs> yeah, for real. It was... It was freezing. I, I, had, I, I got up for a few things. Yeah. You know, I'd go to the bathroom at least twice, <laughs> you know, so... And I know you hit up hit up that tent a time or two. I mm, saw you over oh, there. That terrible tent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! No, it was for anyone that came out. It, um, you know, we had a good time. I enjoyed I, it. Botan and the Dirt Devils absolutely yeah, killed it out yeah, there. Sure did. Yes. We, uh, we, we were members of the Elks, and right? We we helped with the tent, the beer tent, uh-huh. from five to six before we went into the concert. Well, we we're all sitting there. There, I was like, let's all get a picture. So we all line up. I look at the picture, and I am right in front of a pole. All you can see is my shirt, oh my two my arms. Oh, my gosh. That's... You think that was by design? Did yeah. they set that up? Well, I probably might have. Or you design. chose this yeah. spot. <laughs> if the camera can't see you, you think Then you... I can't break it. Right, right. right. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You know. Like we are talking, you know. We got the face for radio, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> well, at least two of the three of us do. <laughs> Claire. Yeah, yeah. Chris. I was going to say, me, <laughs> me and Chris. Oh, my gosh. So what did you, where did you watch the big eclipse yesterday? Did you watch it at the house? Uh, no, right next to the office. Uh, oh, Kathy you had Land, to work Kathy yesterday. Land hosted, yeah, my boss made us work yesterday. <laughs> uh, Kathy Land had uh, a little thing out there and set oh, up. Oh, cool. And uh, they grilled out and had food. And That's so, nice. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. That is really cool. I mean, it was amazing to see i i came in um around 11 came into yeah. town and had to grab something and there was already six or so cars at the cemetery and you know traffic was definitely busier oh, than gosh, normal yeah. and then um a couple people posted videos where they drove by like through leo french and it was just completely packed with cars yeah. the wayne county fairgrounds was completely I think, packed. Um, packed they mentioned Michigan, Oregon, Oklahoma. Oh wow, Oregon! Um, I, yeah. Iowa, Minnesota, Iowa, Florida, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Uh, Wisconsin we, yeah. <laughs> Illinois, we late, Indiana, Missouri. We were, you know? we were late getting out to your place <laughs> yeah. to watch the eclipse because we had uh, we had some some family from Ohio, from Cincinnati, show up. Just decide they were going to come and you know really? and visit. I love it. So I mean, and they they were going to a different 
you know, event down down around Mill Shoals, but yeah. they just yeah. decided to come come and watch the eclipse. I love it. I had um, Travis Stamp is the president of the uh, Fairfield Summer Baseball Association this year. Yeah. And he needed a spot to meet with some people that missed sign-ups this past weekend. And I said, just go up to the building. We're not using it today. And, you know, gave him a code or whatever so we could come in. And he said, I was standing outside waiting for everybody to show up. And he said, I ended up being a local tour guide. Like, all these, you know, tourists were in town. And he kind of was pointing them where to go and stuff. And I I love that. And I've seen so many positive responses. People have texted me. um, And they just said that Fairfield people really showed up and were Mm -hmm. very nice and friendly, as we should be, and helpful to all the tourist i know the chamber office worked their little booties off yesterday oh, yeah. oh yeah they yeah. were delivering i had a, got a call from hugs so they're like hey tell the chamber that they can bring more maps down if they want because they were just handing out maps of you know fairfield and where stuff was which the map had a lot of events from the previous week or you know earlier days in the weekend uh-huh. but it was still helpful and and anyways, I, I when I came to town at eleven, I saw Pia and Libby running around with you know maps mm-hmm. and helping Doing people and yeah. yeah. So shout out to them. They, I helped out a lot, leading up to it and Friday and Saturday. And then we had a wedding this weekend, so I was uh-huh. pretty MIA Sunday and Monday. But shout out to them for all their hard work oh, and yeah. the rec committee and. Good um, job. Yes, good job, everyone. Yeah. We everybody did a good job. Our goal was to get people to Fairfield. Their goal was to get people to Fairfield, and um, we got them here. They yeah. were here. I saw all kinds of posts last night on Facebook from restaurants. Yeah, classic yeah. bold goat. Oh yeah, talking about the number the Mexican of people. restaurants. Yeah. I saw they had some out of towners, and yeah, so there was a I'm huge so glad. confusion of people. Yes, you I'm know? so glad. Everyone, you know, you see the negative comments online about, oh, where's the influx? Where's the influx on like Saturday? Sunday. I don't see anyone, and you know and what? man, Monday hit. If you didn't see an to influx me, of people, you weren't out. Yeah, <laughs> me exactly. <laughs> to me, we had just the right amount of influx. Yeah, yes. I mean, it was yeah. busy, right? But it wasn't so busy you couldn't do anything or get anywhere. I think yeah, you're right, Mark. 2017 was worse because everyone was leaving Carbondale and mm-hmm. trying to avoid the traffic, yeah. and we got, you know, influx there, but. You know, people were actually here, coming here for that, and I, I don't know. I didn't hear about a backup or anything. People trying to get off no, the interstate yesterday. The only thing so. I saw was I saw a picture of 64 headed west, but it was over by Oakville and Nashville, uh-huh. that area, and it was that. at a standstill because of a traffic accident. Mm. Okay. And I heard there was a, a pretty good sizable traffic delay on Route 13 in between Harrisburg and Marion because of a traffic accident. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, hate I don't to hear think that. it was anything. Right. I don't. I probably just a fender bender. You know. Good. But, I hope. Um, People are still here too. I went by the Briarwood yeah. this morning. Yeah. And there was a couple cars leaving, and I think I counted 11, 12 cars still most, there. The restaurant was full. Yeah. yeah. Most of what I what I had heard was people were staying Sunday through Monday. Sunday through Tuesday yes. okay. and leaving today because yeah. they didn't want to rush you know, out and getting caught get in the traffic. traffic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, makes sense. My uh, stepdad came up from Clarksville um, and he rode his bike up. Yeah. And so he was planning on staying last night and then he got to thinking like, oh, it's beautiful. I might as well just drive the bike home. And so after the eclipse happened, he's like looking at his phone. He's like, it'd show red, right? If there was backup. And mm-hmm. I was like, give it about five minutes. And so I pulled it back up. He's like, yeah, I'm staying. Five minutes later? <laughs> yeah, I'm staying. Every, you know, there's red and yellow all through Evansville and Henderson and the Penny Ryle. And oh, yeah. So he How hung tired out. was he riding that bike up here? How tired? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he, yeah, he seemed good, but. He, well, you know, all that pedal. Oh, yeah, the bicycle, yeah. No, he's. He's got himself a nice black, <coughs> blacked out Harley. I love it. Oh, like there's man. no chrome on it. Everything's just like the black wow. and matte black. It's really, really oh, wow. sharp. Yeah. He's he was talking to me last night about getting the boys trained up, you know. Go ahead and get them the little CC fifty uh-huh. CC bikes, you know, give give them practice. And then when they're old enough, and I was like, We don't need to encourage this. <laughs> Maddox is four. And I mean he tells me every time we see a, a motorcycle. That I'm gonna drive that when I get he big, wants one, huh? mm-hmm. yeah. and I'm gonna go fast, mommy. I'm like, no, you're not. You're gonna drive at a safe speed. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he loves motorcycles, so oh, he'll be Grampy's so cool. buddy for sure. So, but. what have you been up to, man? Haven't seen you for oh, a while. I know it's been a while. I work and I go home. That's <laughs> really it. I don't get out a lot. All right. 
I wish I had a better story for you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Think of something last night that I could make up. I knew, <laughs> I knew that question was inevitable. Well, have, you, have you been anywhere? No. No. No or, concerts. No. 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 You don't go to the. Well, I know you go to the Fox quite a bit. We go to the Fox. You yeah. Know, we watch the shows at the Fox. Okay. Yeah. You got a season pass. So yeah. yeah. Nice. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. My cousin Bethany does too, and she'll let me in sometimes on yeah. you know shows that. Her person bails out on or whatever, but there yeah, is, uh, I love going to the Fox. No player, better place to see a show than the Fox. Oh, really? And, yeah. and concerts are even better. Yeah, like, I've never seen a concert, concert there. They I, have a lot of concerts there. I went and saw, I got a chance to see a few years ago, Sandy Hagar. Oh, really? At the, Fox the Red Theater. Rocker. Yeah. The Red Rocker. Who was, believe it or not, on the Country Music Awards yeah. the other night. Yeah. Tribute for Toby Keith. Yeah. Yeah. I love this bar. That's the song. Yeah, that was the song he sang. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a good song. But um, yeah, I mean, what a, what an incredible place to see a show. Yeah, I mean, favorite. What's your favorite one you've seen there? You got oh a my favorite? goodness! Yeah, um, the Temptations. The story of the Temptations. Oh, oh I, I bet, bet that, that was good. good. It was incredible. I thought yeah, that was really really good. I got to see Hamilton. I really enjoyed it. What'd you think? It. I loved it. Oh, really? You weren't My a fan? My whole family loved it. And you were just like not feeling it. And I just wasn't feeling really? it. And it's back, uh, Is it back this fall. And of course, we're going to go. Again, yeah, and I you're guess. like, woohoo. I'm like, well, I'll give yeah. it a second shot. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, hopefully you like it better this but, time. Uh, yeah, I just wasn't blown away by it. I don't know. I'm, I'm more of one that I like the shows that maybe have a little bit of acting in it or mm-hmm. some lines. Yeah. And, and, where they sing all the lines, yeah, you know, and a lot of it was rap, and it was really that's, fast. I was gonna say that's the one thing I didn't like is not being able to understand all the words. Yeah. I don't know? hear well. Yes, so, so I, you know, I've not and seen we Hamilton, were. I think so we were both at the same one. Was it Hamilton? We were at the same one. Might have been. And there was people coughing through the whole thing. Yes, remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were like, because we found out the next week at Rotary or something. That's like, right. oh, you went. And I there was, was phones there ringing too. And there was, phones there was a couple, ringing. three phones ringing. Yeah. Wow. It's like, come on. I, come on, learn learn how to go to a yeah. theater, which coughing you can't help. But, doesn't you matter. Know. I've coughed, but yeah. my phone's Phone. never rang. Phone. Doesn't, how many, doesn't matter how many times I go, I always see somebody I know. Yeah. Oh, the Fox. Yeah. It's like going to going to Florida. Yeah, you know? right, exactly. Well, we go the, the same Sunday matinee every, every show. Mo- oh, okay. Yeah. And so, you know, it's kind of where we... Know the people. Yeah. That's we cool. You know, we know who they are, know their faces. Oh, that's and, cool. Do you, you know. get there early and enjoy the uh, specialty drinks that they have? We do. I always um, like going over we there. We go into the Fox Club. And yeah. I have, a, I have lunch a lot of times. Yeah. And, and hang out. So, yeah, we're usually there a couple hours before the show. And that's that's the way to do it. So We've went before where we were cutting it too close. Oh, yeah. And it's miserable. I don't like yeah. being late. I don't like, like the ushers are like, go now or you're not getting yeah. in, you know. You're going to have a 15-minute wait. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. I'm like, yeah. oh, my gosh. You get there early, there's no traffic. There's yeah. nobody standing out front. Yeah. We yes. go right in and park and walk across. I, like you said, go into that Fox Club where you can eat, have a drink or whatever, and then you just you don't even have to go back outside. You just walk right yeah. over. You can bring your now, drink Fox through. Fox Club is the one just uh, – just to the side of the no yeah. no it's oh. that's okay. curtain call lounge okay the, the fox club's actually inside okay the fox that's that's what i thought i've, yeah. I've been there a i go to curtain times. club then. okay yeah yeah like, is it good yeah because there's good. always a crowd there and yeah. there's always people lined up outside and yeah we've never tried it and yeah i think it's, try. Uh, it's gary's which is across the street from the curtain club that place is really cool okay too. is that a steakhouse um i don't know okay i, I know there's a steakhouse I've, across I've the road i just didn't know i've never been there to eat yeah. <laughs> so. Just to just to hang out. Okay. Um, I went and saw was it Of Mice and Men? Did you see that one there? No, I haven't seen that. So it was one that had no singing. Like it oh, was okay. just, you know, a play. And so that caught me off guard at first. Um, but it was it was really good. I really liked okay. it. Yeah. I don't know. Any I've, any of the what the Disney ones, what uh, Lion King. Yes, oh, Little Mermaid, couple, I think. Seen they that a couple had. times. Yeah. Um To Kill a Mockingbird. Was really good. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, really, really good. I, I've only seen a couple of shows there that I didn't care for. Yeah. Yeah. We went and saw White Christmas. Okay. A few years ago. It didn't, because it wasn't, to me, White Christmas was Bing Crosby. And mm. uh-huh. know, the guys they had playing Bing Crosby didn't look like him, didn't sound like him. And I was like, that doesn't work. Yeah, it's not yeah. working. Doesn't work for me. Aww. Yeah. So, you get a bad one sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I've caught myself. Actually, nodding off and falling asleep through, through a couple of them. <laughs> hey, Listen, I, it's a uh, Sunday afternoon. Yeah. You know, off and fall let me have my nap. A lot of different places <laughs> yeah. that really I shouldn't have. Yeah. I was going to say, know. 
They have a special Cardinal talent. games, concerts. You know. How are the Cardinals doing? They just The season just started, right? I, I think they're doing okay. I don't I watch baseball. I saw so. Sunday, fun day. They did not get a win on okay. Sunday. But, okay. yeah, I don't. I don't typically keep up with I, it. I'm not. I'm not been. You know, it's basketball season. Yeah. Now basketball's over with. I'll probably start watching some. Watch baseball. some baseball. Yeah. 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 I've watched more basketball here mm-hmm. in the last few weeks than I have in a long time. Yeah. I know. So. It's we were. Yeah. I'm excited. Excited for the future of women's basketball. And shout out to Purdue for holding their own in men's basketball yesterday against UConn. Yeah. Right. You know what? They didn't suffer through a 30-0 run. Right. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. I'm UConn, sure. I think, was just, they're just that good. And the scary part about it is, Ooh. I don't think they have a senior. No, they have one. They have two. They have two, two seniors? seniors in the lineup really? who were graduate students. So they were next year. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, the one big kid was a sophomore. The other kid was a freshman. You know. I mean, they were, they were just impressive. Yeah. Looks like Cardinals are... Um, I have a five and six record so far. Okay. Fair to me. So, one, two, Uh three, four, fifth place in the National League behind the Pirates, Brewers, Reds, and Cubs, which Cubs have a 6 4. So, I mean, you know, not too bad. But I I enjoy going over and going to a Cardinals game. I enjoy going up and going. Do you go about every year? um, Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't play, we don't. You know, try to specifically, yeah. but seems like we end up over there and yeah. for a birthday party or a, you know whatever. But I like to go. I really enjoy um, Ballpark Village. I think it's really fun. But oh yeah, I love. We talked about Wrigley. I love Wrigley. Yeah. I like going mm-hmm. up there and the culture up there. And regardless if you like the Cubs or not, you got to be a Cubs oh, fan yeah. while you're there. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Mm-hmm. Get the phone call. All right, you want to give us the weather for the week? Mark? I can do that. I can do that. Um, well, cloudy skies today, maybe some rain this afternoon, high about, uh, right at right about 70. Not bad. Uh, tomorrow, we're looking at a uh, chance of rain, high 65, rain again on Thursday, high 58, and then windy, wind comes back on Friday with a high of 68, and then Saturday and Sunday look really good. Sunshine and 75 and 77. Nice. Hey, on the weekend even. Yeah. <laughs> I That's, love uh, that. Got a lot of rain this week, huh? Yeah. Means the waterfalls down in Shawnee will be flowing. Yeah. I, I am so anxious to go. I haven't got a chance yet. I want to go into water. You always hear about the wine trail. Oh. Uh-huh. They have a waterfall trail. Oh, how down fun. Down in Shawnee Forest. Really? And you can go, you know, check out all the waterfalls they have down there. Really? I, I really want to do that. I just haven't had a chance to oh. yet. I'd like to do that, too. I love a good waterfall. Oh, yeah. It's so cool. And, like, I grew up in southern Illinois. I mean... Fairfield and Robinson, um, but I never really saw a real waterfall until I traveled to North Carolina, mm. and it's like, would, got yeah. some right there, you know, why didn't I ever go? You would be surprised how many people who live an hour or two hours or less from here that have no idea the Shawnee Forest is there. We took some friends uh, from up north a couple of years ago yeah. down to Shawnee Forest, and we're driving down there, and they're, they're looking around going... I didn't even know this was down here. <laughs> like, seriously? I know. Maybe we need yeah. to spend a little more money on, which there are some great tourism oh, yeah. outfits, um, but spend a little bit more money on Illinois tourism. Mm-hmm. But there's like Downstate Illinois, I think the, is yeah, what it's Discover called Downstate. now. Yeah, Downstate. There's yeah. a Shawnee National Forest yeah. website. Yeah. There's, um, there is a lot to do. But even I, you know, grew up here. I went to SIU Carbondale and... You know, Ashley Rutherford, who works for me, she's like, oh, yeah, we went down and we did this trail and we went to this, you know. And I'm like, I, w- I don't even know that I'd know how to find that, you know. <laughs> but they do have a website and they have mm-hmm. maps and stuff yeah. on there. So I'm like, I'm still waiting for my kids to get a little bit older before yeah, I. kids need to be just a little bit older. Yeah, and especially Maddox. Yeah. Well, and he's so, he's going to, I'm going to tell him no. And then he's going to go to the edge of the rock and give me a yeah. heart attack, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I think let's. We'll, we'll wait it out a little bit, but. <laughs> so you planning a summer, summer tour there then? Uh, you know, we we go down maybe once a month. Do you really? Yeah. Okay. Just to tromp around a little bit. Yeah. You know, not necessarily do anything, just tromp around. You go down and come around. back, or do you guys stay down? Oh no, here? we just go down for the day. Okay. It's a day trip from here. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, we we've got some trips planned for the summer, but 
a lot of, it's a lot of concert trips for us this summer. Yeah, who are you yeah. going to see? I think we're going to see Three Dog Night. Okay. Um, I've never been to Spain. There is a uh, <laughs> James Taylor impersonator yeah. coming over to Mount Vernon. Yeah, he's been there once before, I'm, I think, I at think the Granada, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. We're going to go see him. I think yeah. um, the Victory Theater has um, the Purple Experience. Jimi Hendrix? No. Tribute? Prince. 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 Yeah, I did see it's that. It's coming up in October or yeah. something. And I think we're going to go down to Louisville and see um, Lionel Richie. Oh, really? okay. Yeah. Huh. Touring with Earth, Wind, and Fire. Really? Yeah. So You've seen like, Earth, Wind, and Fire, haven't I, you? I have not. I Didn't get a chance to okay. go last year. So we're we're gonna. I think we're gonna do that. So who's headlining that show? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Lionel Richie is mentioned first, mm-hmm. but I don't know if he's the headliner or not. Okay, he's still a judge on American Idol. Is he really? Yeah. Yeah. I just we yeah. were watching last yeah. night. We were L- watching. Lionel that. Richie always. I mean, he he's just got a fi- he's just got a physically big head. Well, he looks like, the same as he did forty years know. ago. <laughs> But oh my no, I mean, and that's you know, that's that's our, our that's that's our summer, yeah. you know, you know that that we try and do stuff like that, because you know those guys are getting older, and mm-hmm. Tina wants to go see the Eagles again. Yeah, and it's just like I, uh, I want to, but they're all in Europe right now, so <laughs> okay. So I said we can maybe take a trip to Europe. I don't know. There you go. Not going to happen, but you know. <laughs> We can wish. We yeah. You're going to have to get a raise for your, from your boss if yeah. you're going to go there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now oh, i got to get my a gosh. passport first. So what about you, Claire? You got big plans for the summer? Oh, my gosh. We have so many plans. Yeah. And ours is more like late summer, early fall. It's like everything's happening at the same time. We have um, a wedding the end of September in Arizona. Oh, my. Friend Justin Scarlett lives out there. And so we want to go to his wedding. We also try to go to Vegas every year for our anniversary, which is October yeah. 3rd. Okay. So I'm like, do we just go to Arizona and then rent a car and drive up to Vegas yeah. for, you know, even just if it's just a night. Um, but then also in, I guess this is moving into fall, but the end of October, around October 21st, I believe, my niece, Aniston, is coming up on her 10-year cancer-free oh, anniversary. Yay. yay. So we're wanting to do something as a family. We originally want to go to Hawaii, but oh, wow. that's not in our budget. <laughs> so oh. she, take... she needs a raise from her oh, boss, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's a, lot, there's a lot of us. And, I mean, it's... I see the ad prices going up next year. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, I should have mentioned that on air, <laughs> Connor. Uh oh. <laughs> Claire, why did this double? Why did my Mule Nation sponsorship double this year? Hawaii. Um, but I think we're gonna go to Atlantis. Um, Atlantis. Yes, it's in um, the. Oh my gosh, Bahamas. Oh wow. It's in the Bahamas. So. It's, I mean, not dirt cheap by any means, but yeah. it's a lot cheaper than going to like the whole family. The whole family. Like so, like my, yeah, my sister and her husband and the kids, and then me and my husband and two kids, and my mom and my stepdad. Wow. And we'd love to get my my brother and sister, my brother and sister in law to go too. They're they're out in Bozeman, Montana. Um, so, anyways, yeah, we're hoping to all go there. Um, in the end of October, so well, those are my plans. Plan on seeing somebody you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter where you go. No. You run into somebody yeah, you know or from the same area. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It really is. Somebody that either you know or they know someone you know. Yeah. Or, yeah. Yeah. But I'm hoping we get to do. I mean, I'll be happy with two of the three. You know, yeah. Atlantis you know. is a. 100 percent i'm not missing that oh i thought yeah. you, you know? said atlanta atlanta oh, i was like they have an atlanta in the bahamas <laughs> really atlantis <laughs> look it up it's it's really it's really beautiful i'm sitting here thinking oh they're probably going to go to the coke museum atlanta underground i will never you know? mark my <laughs> words i will never travel to atlanta as a tourist i just won't i oh. i don't enjoy driving through it let yeah. alone oh, going yeah. now it's atlanta is terrible it's, to drive through. It's too much for me. Um, I'm sure there's, I shouldn't really dog Atlanta. I'm sure yeah, there's there great people things. people here from Atlanta <laughs> I still. Know, I know. From the eclipse. Thank you for coming here, but I'm not going there. But no, I, I'm sure there's great things to do there, yeah. but I just, that's not on high on my list yeah. of touring. I've been to uh, other places in Georgia, so the state's crossed off, you know, I don't <laughs> have to 
have to go back, but mm-hmm. Tybee Island, right? Yeah. I've been there. So uh-huh. St. Simon, so we're good. Georgia is really yeah. cool. If you've not ever been there. Savannah. So. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Those big old beautiful trees that yeah. have, you know, been there for hundreds I've, of I've years. Really nice oh, yeah. You yeah, need so. to need to plan a trip if you yeah. haven't been. We loved our time in Tybee, Tybee Island and then mm-hmm. Savannah's just like a what, 30, 45 minute mm-hmm. drive, I think, from Tybee. Okay. So when we'd love we'd love to go see the Savannah Bananas this summer. Yes, right? my where are they? At? Louisville. There's they're in Louisville. In I Nashville. Think they're in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. Okay. my you have to like get in a lottery. Yeah, yeah. our tickets are outrageous. Yes. I, I am in the lottery. Are you? you? Are? My yeah. sister won, but I've not heard. My back. sister won tickets. Really? To the Nashville one, and we all had to put in for it, you know. And then she only gets four. So then, now it's her and and her husband. Let's see. Maybe it's her and the two kids in the gym. Maybe they got five. They got five What's tickets. What's the cost? But do you remember? Do you I don't know. I'll cheap. have to ask. And I was thinking a couple hundred bucks. Oh, something. easily. I'll have to ask yeah. and let you know. But I know it's it's not cheap. And actually, T.J. Vaughn and his family yeah. went down to Tybee Island not long ago, yeah. and they went to the Savannah Bananas while they were there. Well, they did. They had won okay. for there. So, wow. um, yeah, it's. They talk about blowing up from social media marketing. Yeah. They Man. blew up. I mean, they're huge now because oh, yeah. of the TikToks and the reels uh-huh. and stuff that they, because we all see it and we're like, now that's a baseball game I want to go yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Regardless if I'm a baseball fan or not, that's entertainment, you know? And they do such a good job. And I haven't asked TJ. I need to ask him we, if it was worth the money. And, we should try and get him here to uh, FNB Field. <laughs> hey. You know? <laughs> Listen, I'm done of it planning for just a little bit. Give me, <laughs> give me a week or two to find my mojo. You, you, get, you get two days. Yeah. Two days. I got to, you know, get back to my sunshine and rainbows. Everything's going to be great personality before I decide to take that on. That'd be really cool, though. I'm liking it. Oh, man, it. would it be fun. Hey, we could just get with McHugh and have Coach McHugh and have the... We Bobcats. Can, yeah, Bobcats yeah. bananas. It's same colors. Yeah. You know. But they are. They're what? The Harlem Globetrotters of oh, yes, yeah. that's a great, baseball? Yeah. Easily. That's yeah. a great comparison. And yes. They're entertaining. They're so mm, entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. So much fun. They are the, at least, yeah. Oh, I got some live chat action going on. Hi, Brian. Brian Humphrey's tuning in. He said, the floor of Walmart was packed with people yesterday getting ready to watch the eclipse. There was a very cool experience. They live in Florida now, but I still call Fairfield my hometown. Lots of great memories there growing up. Well, thanks for joining us, Brian. And it really was the coolest experience. So 2017, we weren't in totality. I didn't realize, what were we, like 97%? Last in 2017 or 98. I don't, I don't recall. I don't, I don't remember, but. We tried Googling it yesterday, but. The difference between 2017 and yesterday mm-hmm. just. It was night and day. <laughs> night and day. That's what I was thinking. I'm like. Uh, We're all on the yeah, same yeah. page there. Yeah, oh, man, didn't it same. get cold? It got so It did. Yeah. I mean, temperature just dropped quick. by at least 10 or 15 degrees. Yeah. yeah. We were all out there in our wedding attire, you know, and I was sweating. Yeah. And, man, as soon as that sun like, started to cover, I'm like, ah, oh, this feels nice. And, but then, and then when it was over, the totality was over, and it started, I mean, yeah. it just yeah. like the roosters light. crowing. Coyotes howling. The light turned right back on. Like, I was amazed with the little sliver. I don't know if you yeah. looked yeah. right when it got bright again. Mm-hmm. But that little sliver of the sun that, illu- I mean, it just illuminated the whole sky again. Yeah. It was just bonkers. Yeah, it was. It was just a tiny, tiny little tiny. sliver. Yeah. But yeah. It, it was, you know, I was so busy planning and marketing and, and doing all that. And then we had the wedding and... I was just kind of, I don't know, maybe I was over it or jaded or whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, it's going to happen. But what an experience. Like, I'm so glad I got to experience that. And what a day weather-wise yesterday. Oh, it was perfect. I know. And did you guys notice that the birds stopped? Yeah. Yeah. Like, stopped and then started and, yeah. I mean, the birds were just like, it was morning. Street lights came on and, Mm -hmm. yeah. So my sister, hi, Laura. My sister's chiming in. She said the bananas tickets were only $35. That's it? Yeah. Oh, my. If you win the lottery, you get a chance to buy five tickets. Oh, wow. So 35 bucks for, you know, Thanks, isn't Laura. bad. Thank no. you, sister. No, no wow. that's not bad at all. So we'll just all keep putting in the lottery until yeah. we all get a chance to go. And, I mean, 
I'll travel. How do you do that? You go online or something? Yes. Like a website you go to? Yep, yeah. go to savannahbananas.com okay. probably, yeah. I'm yeah. guessing. Pick out whatever city you want to go to. Okay. And can you enter, I wonder, into multiple lotteries? I think you can. Yeah, maybe that's oh. how TJ won the ones okay. to Tybee or whatever, yeah. but uh, or Savannah. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. My brother or my – my nephew, Lawson, Lara's son, is just a huge baseball fan, like yeah. lives and breathes baseball. They just redid his bedroom and all baseball stuff. And and so it's going to be such a huge experience for him to get to go. And where are they going at? Nashville. Nashville, okay. <clears throat> yep, they're Clarksville people. So, yeah, they're going to Nashville. That'll be fun. So the, they just kind of travel around from city to city? Yeah, they're yeah. on a tour. Right. It's like mm-hmm. like the Globetrotters would be. Or, yeah, that's now, cool. If I remember right, the Globetrotters used to be able to get them to come to like high schools to do was or was it like a knockoff one? No, no. It was the no. legit Globetrotters, no, no. Globetrotters that would come. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, I think we got a dad joke coming in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ken Odie. Okay. okay. How does the moon cut its hair? How does the moon cut its hair? I'm hope. Right. Uh, Some with eclipse. Eclipse it. Uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good one, good one. <laughs> Thanks, Ko. That's a good one. Oh my gosh, I love the T-shirts that I kept seeing with the the sun got mooned. Did you see yeah. that? And they'd have the moon like oh, yeah. pulling his pants down, moon in the sun. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, there were there was every every place you went to. It. I mean, not necessarily towns, but every place you went to, had a had a. Eclipse design. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they did. There were a lot of them. And I mean, we had we had quite a bit of swag and um you know, Libby called me yesterday. She's like, "Can I come over and grab whatever you have? Like there's a lot of people here that are wanting a postcard or a mug or whatever." Really? So, I'll have to check in with her and and see how we did on that. But, you know, when we were thinking about marketing, like we're trying to think of things that people collect that, you sure. know, to make and the only thing we didn't do, I wish we would have, which I think maybe some vendors had them, but like the wooden nickels, you know, like the wooden oh, nickels yeah. or yeah. the penny press. Like we think yeah. that would have been cool to have a penny press. Oh, that would have been cool. So, but, you know, there was just so much to think about and do. And mm-hmm. we tried our best. You can't do it all. <laughs> yep. We tried our best. So, a fine job. thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm. So, our question, um, our question for today was what was your favorite part of the weekend so did you guys get to partake in in anything besides the eclipse i mean if only thing uh we didn't get to do was sunday at the park yeah. because of yeah. the rain i mean we didn't we just didn't yeah weren't able to make it out there in time well and the they did do the duck races um but the movie got postponed the wonka movie got postponed until april 20th i mm-hmm. believe yeah. so You know, that's a bummer that the weather affected that, but I'm glad they rescheduled it instead of just canceling it because I know we were looking forward to it. I know a lot of other families were looking forward to it too, even even, um, teenagers like my Ashley's daughter. She's like 14, 13, and she was wanting to go with her friends, you know? Like it was was something good for all ages, so Mm -hmm. I'm glad they postponed that and... Looks like Double D is going to be Wonka. I Did I you see? Something. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. he'll yeah. be a good. He'll be a good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is he going to have golden tickets? And yeah, I guess PMB sponsored some prizes, and okay. if you get a golden ticket, you you win a prize. So yeah. I love that okay. idea. I think that's so fun. And then uh, obviously VPF volunteers for Progressive Fairfield um, are hosting it as well. So and but where shout will out it to be them. Shown at? Leo at French the Park. Leo French Park. Yeah. Well, yeah, but where at? I think they do like it. The old amphitheater. Yeah, I think area? they do it right yeah. there okay. on the amphitheater. Okay. Okay. I've seen in the past where they've done it, like in um, one of the baseball fields. Yeah. But I think this time was the is the amphitheater. So um, very exciting. Go out and go to that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Very very cool. All right, let's see. We got some local events. We'll go and do those real fast. Um, we got designer purse binga coming up for the Frontier Community College Bobcats of Volleyball. That is on April 19th at the Elks Lodge in Fairfield. It's $40, but you get 10 rounds of binga, which binga is the same as bingo. You just don't have to have a license. Now, do you have to spell out um, B-I-N-G-A? Now, I was going to say. Or is it B-I-N-G-O? Now, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm well, not you don't sure. have to spell out anything, do you? 
It's all nu- numero. Num- num- no. Right. That's true. At the top. But at the top, would it say bingo or bingo? Yeah. 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 No, under, will, will it be like, oh, yeah, exactly. Will it a- be? Twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. I don't know. We'll have to see. That's a good question. Hey, Mark. Get, get your tickets and find out, guys. Get your tickets. So you can go and find out for yourself. Well, I don't need a purse. <laughs> you could <can> re-gift <laughs> it to Tina for Christmas. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Doors open at six. Binga starts at seven. They have Michael Kors, Coach Kate Spade, and more. Tina's oh. got her ticket. So good deal. She's going. So, yeah. Good yeah. deal. We got the we have the FCHS Boys Basketball Third Annual Three on Three Tournament fundraiser coming up on Saturday, April twentieth. What are we going to need our team? Are we going to have a team? Well, right here, we've got it. Three of us, right? right here, you know. Oh my gosh! Some, did Could we be? Tell me you drop like fifty on somebody? Fifty back in the day. Fifty-seven. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Could yeah. we be any more stacked? I mean, how's anyone going <laughs> to compare? I know to this dynamic trio. <laughs> I think you heard. I think you heard the Mike Dreeth story. Oh. Yeah. About my basketball prowess. Yeah. 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 So you, what you can we you, share? You it? No, we need a, we so need it was, a good it was story. What it, it was a story. <laughs> oh, okay. It was a story. <laughs> yeah. okay. It was completely fabricated. Most of it. Yeah. Hey, I, yeah. Say. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey, I had a double double one time in high school. Okay. I had ten points and ten assists. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Once. <laughs> Once. Hey, mark it down, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... That's why I still remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I was I was I was going through some pictures the other day and a picture popped up of a high school baseball team. <laughs> I looked at my I looked at I looked at myself and I go, My God, did I actually ever have that much hair? <laughs> <laughs> what position did you play? I kinda outfield, second okay. base, you know. I you catched were a, utility a little player. caught a little bit, yeah. yeah I was kinda <laughs> You know, I threw it through an inning one time. Yeah. You know, I, it's kind of, you know, I never, I never did like a Jose Okendo play all nine positions in one game or anything. <laughs> but, you know, you know, mainly the same position I played in football and basketball, guard and in tackle. Set on the end of the bench, uh-huh. guard the water bucket, <laughs> tackle anybody, try to steal it. <laughs> that's speaking of jit dad funny. jokes. Funny, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, all right, next up, Sourdough Bread Workshop is on April 20th as, as well, 1 to 3 at RJ on Main. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my my uh, Blackstone down here. I'm going to griddle some bacon so that we can you know, be great. toast some bacon and sourdough, and sourdough bread. Stuff's co- that's a big deal. Oh, it's a big deal oh, right yeah. now. Everyone's it's good stuff. Yeah. loving it. I'm actually attending. Me and my mother-in-law yeah. both got tickets. And she does have <laughs> limited spaces. I want to say she only lets 20 per so that way she'll yeah. have time to actually like work with so everybody. So how does that all work? She brings in starters. She brings in starters, okay. yeah. And she says it's a full workshop of all yeah. things sourdough and how you can get started on your sourdough journey. And then um, you get to take home your starter. Um, so I don't know. I guess she's going to teach that's us a how to do Brianna it. Brianna Manahan, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. With the humble homestead. So she's got quite an enterprise going on. Oh there. my gosh, she does. I mean. She really does. In addition to the bread, doesn't she do eggs, farm fresh eggs? And, yep. And there's other stuff that I see. Yeah, that she's farm done fresh and... eggs. And I know, I can't remember all the other yeah. things, but she's typically out at uh, Bless Blooms anytime they have a market. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she does good work. And she's, so we've, she's done the sourdough bread workshop up here twice. And then she does, um, yeah, different like kids' crafts uh-huh. and stuff like that too. So, She's very, very talented, very busy working mama. Shout out to her for hustling, man. For her, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. way to yeah, go. Absolutely. And if you haven't had her sourdough bread, it's amazing. I have not. Oh. Have Mark? I have not. No. So she has so this. Sourdough bread. Fresh <sighs> sourdough bread. Maybe Claire can have us up after she. I know. Sure. Once I make my first yeah. loaf that's edible, that's I gotta right. put that. Somebody to try it. I gotta that's put right. that part in there. That's edible that's because you know, uh, I may mess what, it up a what time date or is two. That? What date is that? April twentieth. Okay, Saturday, so April twentieth. What, what was the ending time? Twenty seconds. Yeah. So the twenty third. <laughs> my phone's gonna be blowing up at three p.m. Like, all right, is it done? Twenty third. You bring in some. Bring in on the two. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a good idea. Yeah. We can taste test. Get honest opinions. <laughs> honest reviews. <laughs> um, this I've had is her terrible. Ha- I'll just take the rest of it. Right, exactly. Dispose of it for you. <laughs> right. 
I um, I have had her jalapeno cheddar, and it's oh. delicious. I love something with a little spice, yeah. and then if you warm it up or you have it hot, that cheese is, like, a little melted in it, you know? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Um Fusion has a good sourdough bread, too. I don't know where oh, they get theirs or who makes okay. theirs, but if you ever, you're probably not an avocado guy, are you? I don't know. I've you never don't? had a, but I love guacamole. See? So, great question. So, this so. is like, um, it's like an avocado spread. So, okay. it's the same, going to be the same texture as like a guacamole. Okay. Doesn't avocado okay. kind of take on the flavor of whatever yeah, it you have with it? I was going to say, oh, it, it doesn't does. have, yeah. it doesn't have a whole lot of, of flavor itself, but he... They have just a big old piece of sourdough bread and then avocado spread on it and um, I think some different seasonings. It depends on which one you order. But then they have like a soft-boiled egg on it. I've seen a picture. It looks fantastic. Gosh, it's amazing. I'm probably going to have to get one after this, actually. A (laughs) schmear. Nice little schmear. Anyways. I, I'm going to have to get Fusion as a sponsor for this show as much as I talk yeah. about their food and <laughs> coffee. little sign back there behind you. Yeah. That's right. Oh, my and, gosh. And, you know, they could, we could trade for drinks. Every week. Right. Yeah. Drinks and avocado toast every week. But I have seen a picture of that. It looks, looks amazing. Oh, it and then the people that are posting it, you know, there's Talking the good about yeah. it. Yeah. It's so good. It's kind of and it's dangerous for me because it's right across the street. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I'm hitting like a mental block in the middle of the afternoon. All right, I need a coffee. I need a toast, you know? It gives me an excuse. It's just right it's there. Healthy. Yeah. Healthy right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's better than me going to McDonald's. Yeah. All right, plant sale. I want to talk about this too. Yeah. That's, uh, that's coming up pretty quick too, isn't it? Yes, it is. High April school? 26th and 27th, the FFA, Fairfield FFA, um, is having their 2024 plant sale. Save the date. They said, I don't know if you've seen pictures, they have a Facebook page. I believe FCHS uh, Facebook page has been sharing them too, but. I'm a fern girl. Uh huh. Love me some ferns, and they have some beautiful ferns there, along with all these other uh, plants as well. I'm I'm not a green thumb girl, but I can keep a fern alive. Yeah. They're pretty easy. They're a pretty easy thing to keep alive. But yeah. I'd love to have one. I tried to have one hanging up up here last year. That looked good, right outside. It looks good, yeah. but. Mm. Sometimes it's like a wind tunnel somehow that comes through yeah. from that west side. I don't I don't know. And it was like I'd come in and it'd just be laying on the porch and like then the pot would be broken. If you only knew someone that could help that, me that had a shop that <laughs> Sold things like that. that could I don't know. Come in and care for. It I for know. Who would that be a lender? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, Are there any shops like that in town. Actually, I don't know. quick, <laughs> quick shout out to Blacks, by the way. So I kind of touched on the wedding we had this weekend yesterday during the solar eclipse. Honestly, most magical wedding I've ever seen. Like what a you know. The With sun the, uh, and moon aligned, and they are getting married in okay. totality that's, in the four minutes. It was beautiful. And then fireworks at the end. If you heard fireworks about, what, 204, uh-huh. 202, uh, that was us out of the compound okay. for the wedding. It was just a beautiful experience. But uh, what was I talking about before? Where was I going with my story? Avocado toast. <laughs> <laughs> Plants hanging from the ceiling uh, or something? Yeah. Oh, that was it. Plants. Blacks. Thank you. Blacks. Oh, okay. So, Miss Tina and Mark uh, well, came wasn't me. out. was me. They came oh, out yeah. with their family, and I'm so glad that they came out and, and to watch the eclipse and stuff. And Miss Ellie. Well, we appreciate the invite. Miss Ellie wasn't, his granddaughter was oh, not going to miss that wedding either. She was either. not going to yeah. miss yeah. that wedding. She came down, they came down to the pond for the wedding, and I'm so glad they did. But they arrived, and Miss Tina uh, quickly ask, wait, does she not have a bouquet? The bride, does she not have a bouquet? And I just saw her little eyes light up, you <laughs> uh-huh. know, like. The light bulb like, went off. Yeah. So their idea, they were going to walk down with just their solar eclipse glasses as their bouquet yeah. and then as the boutonniere. But anyways, um, yeah, she ran back into town and whipped something up real fast and brought back a bouquet and a boutonniere and she, it just shows I how think, she I is. I think she with is. the solar eclipse glasses. Yes, she into, had it you know. in the bouquet. Oh, really? She, yeah. you know, tied it in. I said, keep it simple because um, they were just trying to have a very, just, you know, mm-hmm. simple wedding. Excellent and customer service. Oh, my I gosh. I you can't get better than that. So thank you, Miss Tina, for doing that. That meant a lot to me and Angela and Samantha and probably not to Denny, because guys really probably don't care about yeah. that as much. But, <laughs> but 
Thank you for doing that. Very, very sweet. All right, a few more events. Actually, just one more we'll do. Wayne County CEO Trade Show is coming up on Sunday, April 28th from 4 to 6. That is at Willow Creek Venue. Try to get out there and check that out. Um, those kids work hard all year, and they have some good yeah. businesses. This is a really mm-hmm. good yeah. CEO group. So. I'm amazed every year when we go out to that and see all the different types of businesses. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at you know, you think, okay, okay, somebody's having a mowing business and somebody's going to make, you know, but it's just the creativity and the different types of businesses. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, they're, they really put some work into it. Yeah, they do. They do. They work hard all year long. And so I'm excited to see that. Oh, let's, I guess we can do our um, upcoming broadcast. We didn't have really any broadcast last week. No, it rained. And it, it rained. Last week it rained, so I have no... Uh, past broadcast to touch on, but um, today, uh, pending the rain, we have two different games scheduled. We have Bobcats baseball starting at noon against Wabash Valley. It was a reschedule from last Tuesday Mm -hmm. because of rain. Um, So that'll be on Bobcat Nation starting at noon. And then we have FCHS baseball versus Edwards County at 4.30 on Mule Nation. We were going to do the softball game for that as well, but we've picked up another game later on in the mm-hmm. in the season to stream um, since that Bobcats baseball got moved. We do try to cover – actually, we're under contract to cover every home baseball and softball game. So um, don't get offended, Mules fans. You know, we still – we're not saying they take precedence, but we we're, always – We're still going to be there for you. We're still there for you. We're, like I said, we're picking up another one later on in the season just to kind of – Make up for that. So, um, and then Thursday, if we just have games Tuesday and Thursday this week. We have two both days. Mm-hmm. So, um, Thursday we have Bobcats softball versus Southwestern uh, Illinois College, and those games are at two on and four on Bobcat Nation. And then Bobcats baseball versus Kaskaskia at three. Um, so that'll be that'll be fun. And looking ahead, we got prom next weekend too. I know. Already. Yeah, yeah, April thirteenth. Well, Wayne City had their prom this past Saturday. Well, you're right. Yep. And then next that. weekend is, I think, Sisney and Fairfield. Okay. And then, um, I think Albion's the week after that. Now, where so, does Fairfield have their prom? Do they do it at Willow Creek? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep. They but do. they still have the uh, promenade, after. right? Out from oh the high yeah. School. Okay, that's yeah. what I was wondering about. Yeah. And then after prom, we'll be back up there. At the high school too, mm-hmm. Double D and I got asked back to do bingo again this year, so we'll be okay. staying up all night with the high school kids doing some bingo next Saturday night. I'm tired just thinking about it. <laughs> 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 It'll be fun though. We had a we had a great time. The only thing we've got to do better about is we were blowing through those games like so fast. We went uh-huh. through all our prizes, and then Double D and I. Like kept making donations. All right, let's play another game. Let's play another game. But um, we've we've got to limit like how many times people can win. That was something we didn't Uh, do last time. And same people kept winning. And I want to give everybody a chance to win a little something. So a lot of businesses donate local or like gift cards to the restaurants or you know cash prizes or whatever. So yeah, it's it's fun and everyone. Everyone loves to win, even if it's oh, yeah. 10, 25, you know, bucks or whatever. Yeah. What other what other things do they have there? Um, I'm trying Aren't to some think. inflatables. When I was in school, they had inflatables. I never okay. even made it down to the gym last year, but I think they do still have inflatables. Last year they had La Fuente like cater. Really? Yeah, so the you go in there bar. and get to have a nacho bar. Oh, wow. Um, I think they had a movie room where they had like a movie streaming. I couldn't go in there. I would have been asleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> that like mm-hmm. two in the morning. Um, and then I want to say in like the girls gym, they do like the end of the night, which when I was in school, we did a hypnotist and I want to say that's what they had really? again last year too. But they, uh, yeah, they feeling very sleepy. Right. You're like, obviously, very it's 4 a.m. <laughs> That's probably why they wait till then. The uh-huh. hypnotism yeah. works a lot yeah. better now, when you're do exhausted. They, do they, do the girls still, because I, we, they always, um, when they went to church on Sunday morning, they just go in their dresses. Oh, yeah. 
Do they so still they stay do up that? all night and then go? We no. We the go gyms. after prom. We go home, put on comfy clothes. Your oh. hair's still done. Uh huh. But you know, back in my day, it was an updo. Now, now uh-huh. girls are smart and realize you don't have to put a thousand bobby pins in your head <laughs> to look pretty. Um. But yeah, they they'll come and put comfy clothes on, and then yeah, definitely you'll go to church the next morning and you're with your hair still done. Like no one's okay. showering that out. You paid too much money for it, you know? <laughs> Not too much. No offense to week. local beauticians. That's yes. Right. Yes. I'm getting my money's worth out of this deal. Come on. Just well, hold on. Let me brush out the uh, bed head, you know, out of the back. But. <laughs> oh, so did you gosh. get hypnotized when you were in school? Did you try it? Um, did it work? No, I no? didn't. I don't, okay. I've never been hypnotized. I would, I would, um, yeah, I'd be open to it for sure. There's actually a, um, some services that you can do as far as like instead of as an uh, option from regular therapy like going in and talking to someone yeah. they you do this hypnosis and they like take you through events in your life and you like come to peace with them or don't and like face things that happen you know what I mean but uh-huh. it's it's kind of interesting like something I would be definitely open to trying if that if scares I, me to death. I'm not it's good. Very, I know. I was like, I don't want to remember things that yeah. I've tried hard to forget. <laughs> if I'm, if I'm in a room where no one else sees me, then maybe. But like, am I being recorded? Am I saying right. these out loud? Right. You're a, you're going to be a case study. <laughs> For real. For real. One of these days, somebody's going to come to the shop. Yeah, you know, I saw you being hit. <laughs> yeah, my psychology you got, class at the college. You got two million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't remember what you did back uh, in. <laughs> it would be really interesting to see what random things come yeah. back up. Like, holy moly, I had suppressed that for a really long time. I forgot that even. And for a reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't feel like you were going to come out of that <laughs> feeling better about yourself. <laughs> okay, good point. Yeah. <laughs> good point. All right, Mark, you got some trivia for us? I do. Us? Oh, I do. no. You know, <laughs> Chris Connors here, so I've got some music trivia. Oh, good. All right, I'm okay. going to go ahead and okay. just turn, but, turn my mic off. But, <laughs> okay, now I'm going to give you some lines from a song. Oh, you got to finish the finish line in this part of it, okay? We have to sing it? No. Okay. No. Thank goodness. Because, yeah. Video killed the radio star. There you go. Video Uh killed the radio star. Yeah, that's right. There it is. (laughs) Don't fear the reaper. 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 Blue oyster cult. I also always thought it was uh, the bugles, not the buggles. I think it's the buggles. You're probably right. I'm just telling you. I thought it was like bugles chips, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Buggles. All right. Um, you're as smooth as. Tennessee whiskey. Uh huh. Oh. Chris Stapleton, David Allen Coe, George Jones, whoever you want to. Solid song, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Good times never. Never end. End. No. Never. Think Neil Diamond. Oh. Mm-mm. No. Not nothing. Never thought of Neil Diamond. <laughs> Good times never seen so good. Okay. okay. So good. So, so good. good. Okay, I got you. Sweet yeah. Caroline. There you go. Ba, ba, ba. All right, first line of the song. Oh. You got to give me the title. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair, mm-hmm. warm smell of colitas rising up through the air. On a dark desert Hotel California. Yep, Hotel California. All right, just a small town girl mm-hmm. living in a lonely world. I'm not gonna be able to come up with the titles. I'm not gonna lie. I can oh sing the my. whole song. Small town girl. I know the song. It's a small town girl living in a lonely it's world. Nineteen. Don't stop believing. Yeah, don't hey, stop believing. Hey, good job. I was like still singing yeah. the songs, like the ABCs. You know, uh-huh. like where does it? All right. <laughs> it's nine o'clock on a Saturday. The regular crowd shuffles in. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely know that one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, P, uh... You're on the right track, P. Gosh. Piano Man? Piano Man, yeah. Good job. Good these, job. these are hard. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's hard for me. All I right. can't think of the title. Cause... Okay. 
is hard. Yeah. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Prince. I was going to say, to get it's through this thing called life. Yeah, it is Prince. Which one? Let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Good job. Yep. All right. Now, we're switching gears here. Oh, my. Got to give me the backup <laughs> band. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Pretty this easy. is you. Pretty easy. No, this is probably not me. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen <laughs> and... The e Street Band. Uh-huh. Tom Petty and... Heartbreakers. Heartbreakers. Uh-huh. Joan Jett and the... Black Hearts. Okay. Claire this, knows all these. I'm like... <laughs> I'm just a little right. slower than you. <laughs> Bo Tata Man. The Dirt <laughs> Thought I'd close it out with that one. <laughs> Great trivia. <laughs> yeah, those were fun. I like music trivia for sure. That yeah. was that was good. Good job, Mark. Good job. Every once in a while, I get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of Bert, Bo Tatum and the Dirt Devils, we had Bo on RJ on the air for our first episode of After Dark. I uh-huh. don't know if you saw it, um, but it's a new podcast we're going to do like maybe once a month, just featuring local artists or artists and let them tell their stories like songwriters and storytellers type of vibe yeah um but anyways check it out if you haven't watched it it was really really good um and i'm super excited uh samantha and denny at their wedding yesterday had sam lewis he's a nashville artist he's played at the grand uh, old opry mm-hmm. and yeah. and stuff but the, he came and played the guitar oh, and cool. sang at Did their wedding job. And um, Denny brought him up here and showed him around and told him about After Dark. And he's like, let me know when you want me to come up and, and wow. do a show with you. So I'm super excited about the possibility of getting him on here and, and other local artists, too. So I'm excited about that one. I love love music, so it's a fun yeah. way to kind of showcase. And, and uh, yeah. It's fun. I was up here. For yeah. The thing. We had a good time. And it was, it was so much fun because... They're so relaxed. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's it's not, you're not playing in front of an audience. You can't. You you're can't not putting on about, a show. Okay, you're not putting on a show. You can't think about, okay, do I, do I want to say this? Do right. Do I want to say this? You know. Originally. It's we had, just candid. It's, yeah. it's raw. It's raw, it's raw. for sure. <laughs> Originally, we were going to do it live, um, and we may in the future, but this time we did. Yeah. We did edit it, and um, but it's definitely a more, there may be cuss words, you know. There may be drinking, um, so just prepare relaxed. yourself for that. But yeah, it is just relax and raw and and fun and mm-hmm. um, yeah. Bo has some bangers. I'm not gonna lie. I was at the concert on Sunday or on Friday. I had edited that video and heard the song so many times from editing it. I was yeah. like, I was singing every word. Like I was up there <laughs> dancing and singing, and I'm like, I feel like. I don't know. They're really good songs, but um, I tell you what, Bo Bo and the Dirt Devils got up there and oh. they. Uh, they they knocked it out of the park. They really did. I guess knocked it out of the fairgrounds. Yeah. Yeah. And then Little Texas Killed got up it. there and and I I don't know. I mean Little Texas was really, really good, but man, Bo Bo, Bo and Dirt Devils were they were right up there with them. Equally as good. Listen, I thought yeah. So. They were um a lot cheaper. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Yeah. And did yeah. just as good, if not better. Um Little Texas Thank you for coming. We appreciated them being here. And, and that's um, part of my childhood. They were, you know, a huge part of my childhood. Yeah. We listened to CMT every day. And and music takes you back, right? You hear oh. a certain song, yeah. you're right back in that room, folding, like I was back folding laundry with my mom and a house on St. Petersburg and Robinson. Like it just, it takes you back to these moments. And um, I appreciated them coming. I loved, loved it. And I just wish the weather would have been better. Oh, well, it was better great. Turnout. It was just a little chilly. A little chilly. Yeah. yeah. 47, but, I think. Right around 8 o'clock, I saw. Yeah. I had gloves well, on. Was, my nose was, was running. Uh, we were under yeah. blankies. I had was, a baby passed out on me. And I'm mm. like, oh, my little furnace. <laughs> oh, baby, he's four and a half. 47, but, uh, <laughs> we, we were actually, you know, we're sitting there and we're like, you know, should we, should we go? You know? And right. It's just, the show was just so good. It's yeah. just. We just couldn't bring ourselves to get up and leave. Right, yeah. right. I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I think everyone that was there had a oh, they had, had a, great, a great, time. great time. So you know, and uh, I tell you what, little Texas called a, a lot of the kids that were there down right in front of the stage. Yeah, they're and like, then, come down to the pit. Like we know you didn't pay, for, you know, but we want you down here, warm yeah. up, dance oh, cool. around. Yeah, they did. And they, there was a lot of kids dancing. Um, 
one of the, the guitarists for Little Texas actually came out in the crowd. Yeah. And played. Yeah. I mean, it was. It was cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, well, thank Chris. You for for yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the drinks. Yeah. I, I'm sure when you agreed to this, you didn't realize it was, you know, the Tuesday after the yeah. eclipse, but you worked yesterday anyway, so, I, you know. Yeah. yeah. Yesterday was boss. just another normal day, <laughs> you know. Yeah. That boss of yours is a real jerk. Money never sleeps. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Yes, I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, well thanks for yeah. coming out, man. Yes. And I'll be back for the uh sourdough bread tasting. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for the invite. Listen, <laughs> you may regret this. I'll bring mine and I'll bring my mother in law's. That way you guys can taste good bread. <laughs> oh my gosh. But, all right. All, y'all, that is um, all the time we have for Friday, today. Chef Robert is going to join us. Chef Robert Beach. Oh, from yeah. the From the awesome. Elks, right? Elks Lodge. Well, he, he, works, he, out of, he works out of Brookstone. Oh, okay. He, and, was, he uh, used to be at the Elks, right? No, he's still at the Elks. Oh, okay. They, they kind of let him play at the Elks. And mm. some of his dishes he comes up with. Yeah. I and the seafood buffet they had a few oh, weeks ago was delicious. Yeah, yeah. I know. Maybe he'll bring us some. I miss, I miss the food That's what I'm just, things, what I'm just thinking. Yeah. Robert, Robert, if you're yeah. listening, man, um, yeah. key lime pie, <laughs> key lime pie maybe, bread pudding. I'm not even going to be picky. Just those are, those are good breakfast. Bread pudding. Yeah. yeah. Listen, though, I don't know. Kelly Vaughn, or Kelly Vaughn, uh, Kelly um, Rush. Rush. <sighs> Her bread she oh, makes a good God. bread oh, man. It's going to be a hard competition to beat. Claire and I have, have we, rotary. We, we are have to try and stop hey, ourselves. After we're we are not filling getting, spots for May now. Don't get another piece, so, Chris. Don't do it. And we can be bribed. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> if you'd like to be a guest. Yeah. You know, sourdough bread, bread pudding. We like Actually, bread pudding made from sourdough bread, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Help us get those likes up and subscribe. That's right, like and subscribe. Because uh, we're we're we need to gain some followers to keep doing this. So please help us spread the word and and subscribe and um, yeah, give us a little bit of a little bit of joy so we can keep this going. Yeah. <laughs> but for for now, we will see you on Friday mm-hmm. with Chef Beach, Chef Robert. And uh, everyone have a beautiful day. Thank I wonder, you I wonder if he, for when joining he puts us. his head on if he's Chef Robert. Robert. All right. See you later, everyone. See ya.